set the tone for the day. It was, well, it was good. At that point, I feel like you would party a little bit with Sarah Bareilles to celebrate. Oh, well, every day's a party with Sarah. Okay. But was there something heightened to kind of really commemorate and memorialize the Grammy nomination this time around? You know what? I think I had a cheeseburger. Oh, no, oh, that'll do it. Hey, treat yourself. Think, you know what I mean? <laughs> You try to be good, but then you gotta let, it's a let it go. Nomination. Oh, yeah. hello. Yeah. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay. She's checking her. She's checking her out too. This is like a mirror for everyone here. All right. Thank you. Thank it's you such Jeremy. a pleasure so to talk nice to you. Nice to meet you. Too. Have a good night. Thank thank you. You. Melody, thank you. Bye. <laughs> we have right. Melissa Etheridge coming Melissa right up. Melissa Etheridge is here. Hello, hello. Melissa. Hello. Hi. Hi. Come on. Hi. 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 Yes, we both you. get to wear the leather tonight. Yeah, look at you know, this. This is when the kids go, whoa, who are you guys? I know. Here, I'll take that. Look, you're a legend in and of your own right, and you know that and I know that. Let's talk about honoring someone like Aerosmith oh. and like what that means to you. Because growing up in the Midwest, Aerosmith was the the naughty boys. They were the, you know, the first music that came out. They were they personified that rock and roll edge that we all dream that we could be, you know, fast cars and girls and everything. And and, and they <laughs> said that out loud. <laughs> and, then, and then they just maintained that. They did it without destroying themselves. They have kept going and they still have the, the heart of rock and roll. And tonight what you're gonna see, you're gonna see so many artists who are so grateful to be able to hold that energy of rock and roll and perform it tonight. Oh, it's just really exciting. That is exciting. You're making me excited right now. I'm excited. Got some enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. And Melissa, you've had the most inspirational career. Is there any oh. advice you would give your younger self looking back? Oh, yes, absolutely. I would say enjoy it more. I'd say don't worry so much. Don't take it so seriously. You're going to get there. Take each day at a time and do more sit-ups. <laughs> do more sit-ups. I want to hear from you. Oh, I want to know boy. every morning you wake up, what inspires you the most about Melissa? Oh, oh you're going to make me cry. Well, um, you know that she starts each day with an absolute clean slate with no starch or negativity. I mean, honestly, I don't, uh, and she has taught me so much, and I think she's an alien part of the time. <laughs> don't tell her. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and what inspires me is watching rehearsals and seeing young women that are coming up in this business, and it's so exciting. And oh my God, tonight is just gonna rock your world. Yeah. It's really beautiful what happens. Who are some of the standout uh, rehearsals that you saw? Oh my God, Yola? Yola. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. That way, if you don't know Yola's music, go get it. Yola is amazing. It's it's beyond anything you really tonight. She just she's gonna kill it tonight. Well, she stopped by earlier and told us about her story and she, everything she's been through, which is incredible to yeah. be here now tonight. Leanne Rhymes. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's yeah. just a beautiful That's night. A good one thing that did stick out about Yola's story, and I was interested in hearing from you, she has talked about the, some really rock bottom moments that she's had. Mm -hmm. When you look back at your career, and maybe moments where it felt that way, what sticks out that got you through? You know, it, that, that's a very, it's a personal thing that's inside each of us that, and I tell this when people say, what does it take to make it? I'd say, well, you have to be able to hear from everyone you know that you, you're not gonna make it, that you can't make it, <laughs> and, and you push. still wanna make it. Yeah. That's about what it takes. You have to like have this, you have to love what you do so much. You have to love writing and singing, and that it doesn't matter if everybody hates it, you love it. Hmm. And that's what it should be, so, you, know, you should love that. Nice, <laughs> for everybody, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure you to talk to you. You too. Yeah, so great night to you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Okay. Cool, are they? You know what I do love about, and I, I, I know I'm vamping, I'm filling time, but this is true. Music cares, there is a heart to it, and hearing musicians who, who they're walking in this event actually do feel kind of like they're in the mode, they want to talk about things that matter. And hearing from people like Melissa Etheridge, from Yola, and different people that have come through this line, talking about, hey, and even Leanne Rhymes, like talking about, wow, I had a moment where I didn't know if I was gonna be able to go on, where I had to reevaluate who I was. People who we tend to look at and idolize like they've got it all, they've got the world at the, in their, the palm of their hand, all that. And and hearing those stories, I think, kind of translates well, to everyone. Our like, cover wow. list week, Jessica Simpson, how much has she been through that no one knew? Exactly right. Yeah. No, Addiction, that's a very good example. Sexual assault, yeah. everything. We hear from people like Jessica Simpson and others that from all outward appearances right. have the world and have everything that everyone kind of wants. 
And when I, I think as fans, when we hear, wow, they struggle with things, it maybe is inspiration to to know that we're all kind of in this, right? Uh, we they, see think Rick, Rick Springfield. Springfield is yeah, we we hear some buzz about Rick Springfield. Hello, Rick Springfield. How are you, sir? I'm 